The hole I dig, it is for you. Boys, do I have a hell of a clapper for you. In this video, we're up against Warwick in the top lane. And honestly, this video, I don't even want you guys to focus on the matchup in this video. This video is more about, like, York and the incredible power he has as a macro champion via split pushing, objectives, turrets, all that good stuff. You get to see the Warwick matchup in this video, but I really, again, want you guys to focus on all the decision-making skills I make at the macro level. It's these skills I think are the difference between a gold player and a diamond player, a platinum player and a, and a diamond player, a whatever you want and a diamond plus player. I really think it's the macro that gets that next level that makes those decision-making skills. But anyway, you guys are going to get to see more about this matchup. Maybe you guys have played against this yourself. Maybe you don't play against it too much, but it, it, it's something you can learn a lot from, you know, against an auto attack champion that heals a lot. We got plenty of those. So anyway, I think you guys could get a lot out of this video. I really feel like this video will serve as one of the most definitive guides to my York macro style yet. And finally, before we get into the video itself, make sure you smash that like button. Leave a comment, give me some feedback, what you like and what you don't like. And be sure to share with your friends if you feel, if you feel like anyone else could uh, get some use out of this guide. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the video. Hey, what's up, Shovel Crew? Coming at you another top lane video. Uh, fortunately, our juggler just got clapped here. He tried to invade and got cheesed by these two. Actually, no, just Kha'Zix. So Kha'Zix is the only one who got a kill there. None of them got assists, so... That's a little strange. I didn't even see it. I wasn't watching because I was doing, like, OBS stuff, but, like, how did this Kha'Zix solo the Jarvan did so easily? Like, Jarvan face-checked here, then got run down. And he said that Wart ghosted, but that Wart didn't even do anything. He has no assist. Like, he probably just got experience because the dude died next to him. But, you know, it's weird. That's Wart. Uh, you definitely don't win the all-in, like, pre-6. It's, it's pretty weird. He has, like, such a high amount of healing. You don't really fight work, so this is a pretty weird matchup, but um he has a shit ton of healing. Um, so it's good to get that executioners early. Um You don't win those extended trades against him because he's just healing so much, at least not until you get your heal cut. You know. He's just ignoring that because he can deal so much off of them. Oh, he did just let me get a big free grass proc on him there. Get a free auto Q on him there. Should have potioned before to get the little bit of that damage. I just realized he has a potion himself. Free grass proc. Missed my E there. Nice. Oh, this guy almost killed me. This jungler is like ganking before he even, uh, before even three minutes hit. I didn't even know, realize this guy was going to be up there that quick. I was like more than halfway pushed on my side of the map. I'm actually not going to go back. I'm just going to rely on my potions. Yeah, I didn't think he'd dive me. Why well, I took this risk. Definitely not trying to fight out the Cosmic Gank. Wanted to see if he'd give me a free grass proc there because I have the extended range when I Q. Wow, my Q barely ran out there. Walk away from that. Go back in after his fear ends. Ah, uh, he's running into minions. Yes, he didn't have flash, so like when he's in, he's in. If I had have stayed there and let him auto attack me, he would have got a bunch of healing and I would have died. Because work does heal every time he auto attacks you. So it might be more minuscule, but as work actually has more missing health, he heals even more. He has faster attack speed, so that makes him heal even more. So you got to be careful. It's a little bit like Olaf, how they get stronger when they're lower. I see Cosmic's is mid, so I'm gonna push this out as much as I can. Work has his uh, W, so once we see that skull above us, yeah, we should just leave. I'll throw my E to make sure that pushes it a little faster. Even if I don't hit the minions, I'm trying to avoid a freeze there. Why I did that? I feel like this guy's gonna go for like a work or something crazy. Maybe a wit's end, something crazy healing. That's usually what you see him do, some haunted healing. This guy can get one shotted. Gotta be careful. Oh um, man, Ari's there and our mid laner's not. Probably just kill yourself, dude. 
Oh. Uh, you could have just killed yourself, but I guess he doesn't need to. I mean, okay. I was gonna say now you just feed a kill to mid. Yeah, that's not worth it all. And he just gave a shutdown. He could have he could have just killed himself. It's not worth giving a shutdown to mid or no, nah, giving a kill to mid. I mean, it's more gold for them. Like they got one kill, they got um, or we got one kill, they got one kill and an assist. So it's better for them. I can play a lot more aggressively here. He doesn't have flash. My W is gonna be very strong against him. Come on, come get, come get your CS. I want to kill you. This guy's just respecting me too much. God, I almost killed him there. His E just blocks so much damage. It's like 30% reduced damage, so I wasn't able to get him. Gotta be careful under the tower here because he might just um, ult us and we'll take too many turret shots. Alright, I'm gonna back off for that, what I just described. The whole um, situation with the turret. And it, many other champions I could just dive easily, but this guy, I'll take like at least three turret shots. That's actually good, I missed by either. Come on, back off. Maiden takes forever, man. Even with the leash buff, it takes forever. But now we have a be much better opportunity of killing him. Nice, got the dragon. Still healing a lot by queuing minions. Yeah, he's just playing it safe under tower, so I might as well go into their jungle and look for a play. Got the honey fruit. I think the blue buff's up. I don't think it is. Oh, it is. Oh, but there's Kha'Zix, so I can't go for this, but I am gonna drop a ward. Unless, it looked like he was walking down there. Like he was scared I was gonna invade him. I put a ward down, so I will go for this while, uh... Okay. Yeah, he's, he's gonna come get it, so I'm just, I'm just gonna leave. I don't beat his smite, and I don't want my maiden taking unnecessary damage. Kha'Zix is right here. So I just gave so much pressure top lane with all that, that um, our bot lane was free to do whatever they wanted. I don't want to get greedy and start pushing into this, because uh, he has made a wave advantage. I know Kha'Zix could be top. He could take this blast code right over. So my bot lane is like so free. Kha'Zix is top. All because of the uh, pressure I created on him. Kha'Zix could be up here, but I want to go for this guy. Uh, that's the one thing about standing behind him. Yeah, I could kill him there. When you stand behind him, if York or Warwick holds his Q, he could actually just go right through you and get away. So that you gotta not walk behind him. I made that mistake. I'm just gonna push this in. By the time I walk over there, I miss so much CS to try to help this guy, and he's not even going to his red. Okay, cause So it would have just been a complete waste of time if I went over there. We got a uh, good plate opportunity here, at least for Demolish. Cool. Works teleporting. It's his second TP, I think. Nice. We got um, two plates, actually, so that was a huge power play for us. Got paid massively 2k gold. Uh, let's see. Bot lane is doing very well, too, because Jarvis is definitely camping them. That's very good. We certainly don't need help. This guy, Warwick, really is a troll pick, so you should beat it. You just gotta watch out for the cheats, like I was saying. I was really scared under tower. I didn't want to walk up. Because you're guaranteed to take at least, like, three turret shots if you walk up and get ulted. Looks like he's going tank with Sunfire, by the way, so we don't have to worry about... Well, actually... Yeah, he did have that long sword earlier, so it looks like this guy doesn't even know what he wants. I think at first he was going damage against me, and then after I clapped him, he's like, Ah, shit, I better get some health and some ninja toppies. <laughs> That's funny. For Warwick tops, I think they... Uh, either go one or the other. I do think the tank wor build works better because, like, going like really squishy, I don't know, just usually never works out from what I've seen with work tops. Like, building Wits End first or a play of the Room King. It, it can work if you cheese. Like, definitely take Ignite if you're gonna do something like that, but if you're gonna take TP, I think you should be doing uh, tankier. I could definitely kill this guy again if I trap him, but I missed my. Yeah, he's just camping, so we... Wow. Go take jungle camps. 
No, I don't have time for that. It's better when you have ghouls to go do that. Like, if you can spawn some graves and raise the ghouls so they aren't just, like, wasting time pushing down. Okay. Is this guy getting a gank? Like, I don't know why he W'd at me like that. That's why I ran away there, because I thought Cosmic was right here, but... I don't know. Either way, I don't really want to fight him without four ghoul. Let him waste the potion he's taking right now. Just, uh, it's just simply playing smart. Ooh. Aiden, you're not listening to me. He loses this. Ooh. Yeah, he thinks he, like, he, another idiot falls to the orc. Like, this guy really thought, like, killing my ult would make me instantly do no, no damage. But that's, again, guys, that's why I said the four ghoul. Because uh, it's such an incredible amount of damage from York when he gets four ghoul. Like, even more damage than the maiden. So this guy, he was taking a shit ton of damage from my ghouls. And keep in mind, those ghouls are also proccing my uh, healing heal cut. So... I think this guy like went really stupid there, thinking that I don't, I'm not a champion, but I definitely still am. Ah, uh, no, we lose Rift, Rift, or we lose that tower with Rift Rift, maybe. I might get first tower here. I'm gonna go for it. Got first tower before they could with the Herald. Okay, it looks like Jarvan stepped up as well. So I'm just dominating this guy. I could definitely keep creating problems over here. So I'm available to TP though. I just really would like my ult to be up first. Okay, works top. We're good. I don't have my ult, so I want to own him. I'll just poke him like that. Don't have ghouls, so I don't want to own him. See, he healed like over 100 on queuing a minion there. Alright, cool. I got my ult now. I actually could have baited him in and ulted after, maybe killed him, because he's playing like really aggressively. So their AP is getting fed with the Ari. It's not good. Walked into the... Oh my god. Walked into the turret thing, but I knew I was so far ahead I could get away with it. Uh. I'm just gonna stay up here. Because I can get this turret. Let's work STP. Use my last potion here. Oh, I'm getting really greedy. They should know I'm doing this. Because of Warwick's scent thing. It'd be ultra greedy to go for the uh, Rift Herald here. I do have vision. I think I'll just grab this. Oh, he went for dragon. I should have been doing this. I don't know what Warwick will do is the problem with this play. No one can help me, actually. No one's in position to help me. I just want them to know I'm doing this. Got two ghouls, so the scuttle actually helped me get a lot more damage. Look at the ghoul damage. They're, already, they're doing faster than the maiden. Oh, almost forgot this with hell. Wow, I just got so much, guys. Tower up here, blue buff, and the rift herald. It was very greedy, but uh, we got it. The dead don't hear you. I want to go back and not lose my bait and just wanted to get these ghouls pushing. I'm going to call this in. Oh my god, how did I not auto him? Okay, I got him. I was really bad. I like flashed and did nothing. Anivia should not have gone back because I'm creating so much pressure. All right, you you get to die for that. Okay, he flashed. Might still get this. I'm loving the time warp tonic right now. It's giving me way more healing than I deserve. And my team's been doing a great job at distracting them. That's bad. 
Oh, they just got caught so badly. Nice. Good job, team. That's what I like to see, man. A team that understands split pushing. It's just dominating. Nice. It's a good team. Let's back off, though, buddy. We can't get anything else. I mean, Maybe I trolled a little bit going for the red buff. I'd have been able to save some lives. This Adivia really made a good play, utilizing your passive, uh, making sure to kite back and buy as much time so I could get there. Right, I guess we're just going for it. He has no flash. I got his flash earlier. Nice. Jinx. Get her flash here. Yep. Nice old. Wait, what happened to it? I guess uh, the guy ulted away. We can get this at open inhibitor. Saving my Jarvan there. Can we go for more? I think it's greedy. Let's not go for anything else. My goals will finish that. Should consider getting that soon. I'm going to sell this and get the uh, CDR component. We can really snowball our lead with the Baron. We're just so far ahead. I still haven't used this TP. That's hilarious. I've just been in the right place, I guess, at the right time. We just got to wait for these super minions. When I'm trying to ping my team right now without typing everything out. We need to start uh, getting pink wards and denying any and all vision. We just wait for the minions. We need him, though. Like, I don't know what he's doing. Fucking around getting wolves and stuff while Warwick's clearing everything. Not smart from the Starvin. Now he's gonna get caught in transiting here. Yeah, I guess we're just doing it without him. This is very risky because Kha'Zix comes, it's over. I guess they think we're not doing it because they're on Jarvan, so it could be a 200 IQ play. It looks like it's going to be. Yeah, 200 IQ. Nice. Lose a turret to Jarvan, that's worth. Jarvan really just needed to, like, not die there and just bait, but it's fine, because I, I think the enemy team assumed that if we don't have our jungler, we're not going to go for it, but we totally did. Oh, shit, I should have taken that for You want to back up, or you AFK? Like, what? Who's got the right now? Just those two? It sucks, because we had all that pressure bid. I really do need more magic resist. Maybe I should have gone for a spirit visage. Ow. Yep, let's just back off. Oh, shit. I didn't even see that guy. I didn't even know what happened to me. Wow, that is so bad. I didn't even see that guy. And she's top. Ugh, God. I played that I played that so bad. I got caught here for no reason. We have vision that we're not sweeping. Uh, this guy's been AFK bot. We're not taking advantage of it. Oh, God. This is so bad. Just healing too much. I'm not tanky enough to like walk up freely like that. I lived once. I had to flash out. I didn't even see the cause because I was like, oh, I'm fine, right? And I thought I had a danger indicator, but I didn't see it. Okay, what the hell is this Anivia able to do? That's insane. Ah, uh, no, they both missed their skill shots. Can I TP up there and kill her? Like, can I do... I don't have uh, my ult. You know, I'm probably not going to get much more value out of this TP, so I'll go get that for him. I've been holding onto it way too long, and I just feel like I need to start using it. 
or I'm just never going to use it. <laughs> so we can start getting some pressure up here. Get that farm so I can get my death stance, because I really need that little bit of magic resist. And then I need to get the Spectre's Cow for the Spirit Visage. Really sucks that we did two, literally anything with that Baron. Their team's definitely going to come up here, so I'm going to back off. Oh, God. Aitlin get in alt range. Someone cleared my ghouls. That Cosmic is really low. If you just, if you guys just drag it out. Oh, we gotta drag it out, guys. Come on. Jungler's fucked up there. Did you see that Kha'Zix running and kill himself? Oh my god. Okay. I don't know. I really am scared if I'll be able to tank all that up. Please kill her for all this, man. That Ari's just like perma-focusing me. I really need more magic resist. Oh my god. Wait, Caitlyn's just running. Okay. Overstayed. Need more magic resist ASAP. Uh, Jinx stole the dragon. This Jarvan messed up. It's unfortunate. This guy is so useless. It's such a top diff, but the Ari is just, like, insane. We fed her so much. This guy is inting. This guy is inting. It's insane. Like, I'm sure this Jarvan, like, permanented the mid lane. I don't really blame the Anivia too much. This game really shouldn't be close at all, but because of the Ari, it's going to be close. It's basically me versus Ari. Right, this guy's Jarvis got 10 kills, he's got 8 ints, so it's really just a lot to deal with. I gotta go back after this wave. She does have her ults on a two second cooldown. I'm actually gonna run up and take this. Why am I farming minions? I'm just, I'm just zoning them here. They're like completely zoned off on this side now because of my TP there. I didn't need to be bought anymore. Just steal this and go back. And buy that Spectre's Kel I've been wanting. And we'll get the Elixir of Iron. Gives us even more tenacity, that extra health so we don't get popped, because that's the only thing stopping us. We've got plenty of damage, so. Nice, gave me level 18. They're gonna have to come deal with this. Oh, well, it's a free kill, boys. Get him, free dragon. Nope, okay. Oh, they did catch him, so they're probably just gonna come deal with me and give up the dragon now.
Alright, they're all up here, so my team needs to be pushing mid. I think it's a big mistake for that, um, Caitlyn to be going for... For Caitlyn to be going for the dragon there instead of helping the team. It forces ult out of him here. I'm dead to the Ariel. What is my team doing, man? There's like four people top. Why are they coming to help me instead of getting this? Like, you guys should have been here. Like, you guys, you guys should have been right there. Like, that's how split pushing works, guys. Look, like, look, you just come late and die for no reason. Like, you guys should have been split pushing. That's all you accomplished was dying late. Could have got the inhib first and gotten the dragon on the way out. Now, like, everybody dies scrambling to try to make something worth out of it. Like, this Anivia especially just kind of upsets me. Like, there's four people top. I already got four people in front of me. There is not a world where you're coming from the mid lane and you're going to get there in time to save me. So what do you do? It's a simple game of pressure. You take the inhibitor. You do what Caitlyn did late as fuck. I don't know why she walked away. There's no tower here. You can just walk him and take it. You don't need any minions, so... Big uh, confusion there for my team on what they were supposed to do. It is actually very simple what you're supposed to do there. I'm not sure. I, I needed to ping the shit more, but usually when people see four people top, knowing that there can only be one enemy, they just automatically do what they're supposed to do, which is create pressure off my pressure. It, it's not that hard. Once I get this Spirit Visage, I'll be killing a lot, so that's what I'm excited for. We have no objectives to capitalize on this shit. Like, this is the only thing we can go for, and even then it's, it's like a tad bit risky. This work has just been like AFK side laning. He's still 0 at 7, like. We need a Nivea. Doing something really cringe right now. Bring it to my team. Force my team to help me here. This is bad. We're losing this. Oh, you... Okay. I have nothing to really offer. Just my traps. Don't know what this Cosmix is doing. Good play for the jar, but I didn't believe in him. Fuck! Man, we really needed help with that. God damn. I thought they had that. Trying to get some objectives here. Nice. Forced her off. End the game. That's just a hard York macro carry, guys. It's a classic game of how to macro carry York. If, if there was ever, like, an educational video on, like, understanding the macro more than just, like, the matchup. Because the matchup really wasn't anything. It was just, like, my incredible macro that carried this team. I was creating so much incredible pressure. Notice I'm bringing two plus always. A minimum of two. Likely they're bringing three or four. I think every time they tried to stop me... Uh, in a side lane, it was like, after work died to me once or got like really low against me once, they started bringing in like three or four people. So like, that's just the incredible pressure that York can bring when he gets ahead early like that. Um, I guess I'll give it to this guy. He like, like made a really clutch play down there. I thought he was inting, but it's cool. All right, guys. Uh, GG well played. I get, I'm getting these honors for my leadership. I was picking the shit out of everybody. I mean, look at my damage. I did carry that game. I did m more damage into all of them, except for the Ari, of course, the Ari <laughs> being a AoE mag damage champion. But look at the um, charts here. This would be the interesting one. Turret damage, holy crap, macro. Objective damage, holy crap, macro. Like, even way more than this guy. Like, this guy missing his smites and shit. Good job from the Caitlyn, though. Look at the runes. 
we got so much healing, so much work done with this. I did take the unflinching to try to get that uh, tenacity. I don't know why that says zero. I saw the tenacity coming up. Love time work tonic. Biscuit's debatable, but I love time work tonic. Gave me so much healing, so much movement speed. Bone playing really good against Warwick and the, the auto attackers. Uh, really more of a lane phase rune. Demolish, obviously. Yorick's like biggest value add is his ability to take turrets. But uh, yeah, GG well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. That is a classic how to carry with Yorick game. How to macro with Yorick uh, easily in uh, gold, platinum, elo. So, let's see. Yeah, this guy's gold one, prior season platinum. Yeah. Platinum. Oh well, pretty much platinum. But anyway, GG well played, guys. Hope you uh, enjoyed that game, and I'll see you in the next one. Fear not. I will make use of your corpse.